The Oyster Bay Main Street Association recently met at the newly restored historic Octagon Hotel in Oyster Bay. This historic hotel was built back in 1851 and was a popular restaurant and meeting place. In fact, Theodore Roosevelt would often hold meetings and gatherings there. The long process to restore and preserve the Octagon Hotel is one example of what the Oyster Bay Main Street Association is trying to do to preserve its historic buildings in the hamlet of Oyster Bay. Uh, the, this hotel we're standing in right now uh, would have uh, basically been destroyed had it not been for other organizations and the Main Street Association stepping in, working with the town of Oyster Bay, and uh, preserving what we see here, a real historic gem, a real historic uh, um, piece of property for the, and a key in the restoration and vital, revitalization of Oyster Bay. The keynote speaker was Nancy Melius Merton from the historic Long Island Gold Coast Mansion Alliance Group, who talked about the importance of preserving historic buildings. Oyster Bay Main Street Association Executive Director Isaac Kremer says this was a great opportunity to reflect on the group's goals. Uh, well, Oyster Bay is the only uh, community in Long Island that follows the Main Street approach uh, to commercial district revitalization. Uh, so our four volunteer committees uh, are responsible for promotion, uh, attracting people to the downtown, design, improving the physical appearance, economic restructuring, uh, attracting viable businesses uh, and helping to uh, sustain the businesses that we have here an organization, attracting the resources to revitalize the downtown. Um, so what we've seen in the last year uh, is an uh, arts community uh, get started with an art school, the Teaching Studios of Art, uh, with a studio, uh, several galleries uh, opening in the downtown area. Uh, so we're working with them through grants uh, and other tools uh, to support them uh, because we realize that's going to help with their revitalization. Um, we're going out and improving the buildings uh, with other grants that we get, including a $200,000 New York Main Street grant we received from the state. Uh, we've just about completed. But I'd say the most important thing we do is give residents an opportunity to be involved uh, in the revitalization uh, of their own place. Uh, and making that place the best place that it can possibly be. Uh, and for that reason, I think we fit in really well with all the work that the Gold Coast uh, Mansions Alliance, uh, Historic Long Island Alliance is doing. So. If we neglect our past, uh, our future is not very, very bright. Uh, we value these things, and it's very hard with the economic pressures that exist uh, to, to preserve these buildings because they're not always uh, as uh, easy to market as some of the newer buildings. So what we've done is we've stepped in. We've actually taken every single historic building in this town, identified it, uh, and uh, created a, a booklet which we are going to work from to uh, use going forward in uh, doing other projects and preserving the buildings. Uh, so as a historic town, uh, it would not have a history without some of these buildings. And so what we want to create here is probably uh, the most uh, interesting place to visit uh, in Nassau County, we believe. For more information about the group and its historic preservation projects, you can check out their website at OysterBayMainStreet.org. In Oyster Bay, Chris Kalora reporting.